Hey, good morning folks. Welcome back to the channel. First week in November and we're starting a new project. We're actually moving south for a change. Typically, the colder it gets, the farther north we like to move to do our projects. I don't know why, but it's just the thing we do. This one is uh, down towards Cumberland, Maryland, uh, Hindman, PA. We've got a water feature, which is good news. And we have a bunch of planting. It's a new house. Possibly in the future, they would like to put in a swim pond there. So lots of potential with this place to make it really cool. We're gonna be doing phase one right now with plants and lighting and a nice water feature in the front of the property, like in the driveway. Here is display. Bunch of planting beds around the house, lighting right here in the driveway. We have uh, a 16 foot pondless, bunch of plants and stuff going around there. So it's gonna be the start of a beautiful home. Excited to get started. I don't know about the planting in November, but uh, yeah, we do what we need to to keep moving. But I am excited to put in a water feature for sure. That's always fun. And this one's going to be built out of our weathered sandstone boulders, like most of our features are. I think I've already told you that. It's, it's the best stuff to work with. It's always fun. Talk to you some more when we get there. Right, here's the the canvas and I'm, I, I got my paintbrush out over there that's my paintbrush and there are my paints so we're gonna start dipping in there and painting something pretty here this is the uh, where the basins gonna go and there's gonna be a 16 foot podless brand new home beautiful and this is just gonna be like viewing for the driveway here gonna make an incredible front entrance. We're gonna light it all up. I'm thinking about maybe putting a dogwood up on the top there somewhere. And uh, yeah, I don't know yet what I have in mind. What do I wanna build here, Deej? What do you think? A uh, waterfall. A waterfall, yeah. But like, do we wanna do two super tall ones? A babbling brook, split falls. What, 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 what do we want to build? Whatever the rock flood is. Yeah, that's true. That's actually a fairly reasonable thing to say. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll put it in the basin, then I'll do what I always do. I'm gonna go over there and start looking at the rocks, picking them out with my excavator, setting them around, and then all of a sudden it's gonna go, ah, oh, we can do that. That would be awesome. And then that's what I'm gonna build. That sound like a plan, Deej? Yep. Okay, so that's how you do it. Yes. Yeah, sometimes you have to be real quiet and just listen to the rocks. And if you tune in properly, they'll talk to you and you know what to do. So I can't, I can't tell you what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be awesome, I know that. I'm gonna dig, put in the basin, listen to the rocks while I'm digging and then we'll see, see where it goes from there. Okay, so I sat down and I talked to the rocks. They were very agreeable this morning. I mean, I, I didn't even have to coach them at all. They just fell into place. So here's what we had for the bottom falls. I am going to, I like that broken out piece. I like how that looks. I'm going to frame a spillway here. It's gonna fall into a pool here. I'm going to put a little bit of a spillway over here that's gonna come over there as well. Then I'll put a spillway in here. So remember this is a little pool where it's falling in and then this falls will spill over here and down here. I am a little bit reluctant. I hate when water drops on top of another rock, but I'm gonna do it, I guess. And then we'll do a little bit of foaming and chunking in here and the final drop will be in here. So it's gonna have lots of action. Water coming this way, that way, this way. 
that way. And then, if I can fit it on my aqua blocks, I'm gonna get a thin rock over here and put just a thin thread, a thin high thread of water coming over here. So over there, we'll have all the action, action waterfall in different direction, and this is just gonna be a real tall, thin strip of water coming down. Should be pretty cool. Now we just have to, you know, move it in. He just can't help himself. Swan struck showed up. Ben's over there buying food. Just like a little kid. Yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for ice cream trucks, so I don't know why, but. Ice cream shows up. Do you want one, Deej? Yeah, I kind of do. It just so happens that I've got a nice big lunch that everyone makes fun of. Well, the Schwann's guy gave me an ice pack. Now put it in here. I thought I could just buy one of these. Turns out I need to buy a case, but I'm gonna guess that if I set this in the shade with that ice pack, these will still be good tomorrow. <laughs> this pleases me. <laughs> Unreal. Hey guys, it is November, ah, shoot, I don't even, I, Deej, 17th. 17th. We've been spoiled rotten. We've had a really, really, really nice November. The weather is just, it's like, it was 70 degrees yesterday. It's sunny and it's dry. I looked last year this time, we were working on a swim pond in um, Dubois and it was snowing and cold. So we've been very fortunate. This is up and running. It's been running for about a week. It's beautiful. Very happy how it turned out. I've got all the crazy stuff down here on the bottom, water falling all kinds of different directions. And then we have just a big falls in the back. And uh, I think it suits this driveway entrance really nicely. So that all came together. Really nice dogwood put in the back, plants, lights. It really is a shame that it's so hard to get you guys good lighting pictures. Number one, good lighting pictures are hard to take. And number two, a lot of these projects are like an hour away and it's hard to get back to these projects when they're all done and get pictures of lighting. But I wish we could do that more because it does look really awesome. Client texted me some pictures, but like I said, lighting pictures are hard to take. You kind of have to know what you're doing to make it look good. All that sob story to say, I don't have any good lighting pictures for you, but trust me, it looks awesome. We did put edgers the whole way around this feature, which I, whine and complain and groan and mumble about, but in the end, it looks pretty nice. We really don't like putting them in, but it looks pretty, especially here uh, where you have gravel, a driveway and mulch, it separates the two 
nicely. This is just part of the project. Then last week, or this week, we spent time doing some boulder work and some plants and some lighting around the house. I didn't give you a lot of updates on that. It's just like Ben digging a hole, Deej putting plants in the ground, some time lapse of before and after. Let me know what you want to see about planting because I, I really don't know what to do with those. Unless you really want to see me dig holes with a shovel, that's what you're going to get. But the final result, I can show you that. It looks nice. One of the things that's crazy is look, you can build a brand new home for four or 500,000, whatever. And then it's really like the last 70K of the project, 80, whatever, 50. It's that last little bit, that lighting and the plants and the mulch that really make it, it, it finishes it out. So take a look at this. Really nice boulders on this project. These, this guy had some family, I think, that had a farm with a bunch of boulders on and he brought them. And so all around the specimen trees, I really like that paper bark maple right there. All around the specimen trees, like we raise it up a little bit, do some boulder work around it, uplight it, and ta-da, that's what you get the whole way around the house. I think it looks pretty. I like whoever did this. The walkways are designed in a way that I would have designed it. They put nice planting beds in between the house and the walkways that allows you to soften it up. And fortunately, they were wise enough to put in mulch. It might be just a little bit more upkeep, but it really adds a nice look to it because it's not as harsh, especially if you have veneer on the side of the house or something. And then boulder work, if you put in river gravel, it just becomes this, it's a really harsh environment. So this softens it up. Looks very pretty, I think. Yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see on landscape videos. We still have a power washer coming in. He's going to clean all the sidewalks because it gets stained. Oh, you may have noticed there's a new toy in town. We traded in our E42 for an E50. And so this was the maiden voyage of the E50. It made a voyage, is that the, I think that's with ships. That's with well, ships, but. <laughs> excavator shit, they're close enough. So. We got to try it out. It's nice. We're getting a tilt rotor for this one. Tilt rotor and con. And con. Yeah. So it's not on yet, but once I have that, I'll have that swivel bucket that I can tilt and don't have to level the machine. Really takes that machine to a whole new level, but you're gonna have to learn how to use it. Once I learn it, it should be very nice. So that brings this project to a wrap. And since the weather continues to be pleasant, I'm heading to just on the other side of Evansburg to start the new project. Trucks here, equipment's warmed up. We're gonna pull out it here, head to the next one. The next one's gonna be a pond and a little patio and some steps. So more goodness coming. Um, if you wanna see that project, subscribe to the channel and it'll be showing up here next. Uh, let me know what you think of this project in the comments and anything that you wanna see in the future, any videos, topics you want me to cover, put your ideas out there and I'll be happy to give it a shot. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.